This year, Jack Truman should have been celebrating his 21st birthday. But five years ago, when he was just 15, Jack was diagnosed with an aggressive form of blood cancer, gamma delta T cell lymphoma. Jack's illness was very aggressive. After five months of treatment, Jack was told he only had days to live. Jack had always cared for and loved everyone around him. Going through this awful experience made him want to help others on this childhood cancer journey. I wasn't upset really about the news, but it was that that upset me more. It was more how is other people going to cope with it. In his last days, he came up with a plan. Jack wanted to create friendly, fun and welcoming spaces. Jack's Dens, where families affected by childhood cancer could access emotional and social support through counselling and bespoke groups and activities. Or just take some time out and relax, make friends and have fun. We've set up a Team Jack account, which is the money's going to go into that and then that'll be used to um, that'll be used to hopefully help out other people who are in the same position that I've been in. Since his passing, Jack's mum, Alison Barr, has ensured Jack's wishes have been carried out. Two months after Jack died, Team Jack became a registered charity and in December 2015, Jack's Den Mark I was opened in Livingston. It's come a long way since then, with the new Jack's Den opening in 2019. The families can come at any point when we're open and they can just make use of the facilities available. Play the board games, they can play the craft activities, they can put on a film, they could have a film show. The wee ones can play with all the, the soft toys and things um, and just relax and, and just be together. Teens come in 12 o'clock on a Sunday and they have their own lunch time. They get to make their lunch and they just sit and chill together. Everyone else is banned from the day during that hour. So it's teens only, which gives them their chance just to be themselves. On a Wednesday, we have our under fives messy play and music time. A lot of the little ones can't get to nursery for fear of getting an infection and then ending up back in hospital. Instead of that, they can come to the day and we don't let anyone in if they've got a cold or a bug of any sort. So they know and they know that all the, the equipment sterilised on a regular basis. So they know that they can come in and just be safe, but still experience a normal nursery. As well as Jack's Den HQ in Livingston, Team Jack is expanding to help children across Scotland. There are pop-up Jack's Dens in Fife, Lothian and Borders, Edinburgh Hospital and we're excited to have secured premises for a permanent Jack's Den in Aberdeen, which should be ready by early summer. The team is also piloting pop-ups in Glasgow, providing music therapy, snacks and goodies at the Shahalian Ward at the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital. The McLean family from Kirkcaldy use both the pop-up den in Fife and also attend Jack's Den in Livingston. Leon was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukaemia in March 2017 when he was one year old. He just seemed to be unwell and he wasn't an unwell boy. He was waking up and there'd be blood on his pillow from nosebleeds and gum bleeds and things and it was like something's not right. Just saw him so quick, didn't it? It just happened so quickly. That's within true. within 40 minutes, they um, were telling us that it was suspected leukaemia. They were 95% sure mm -hmm. that it was leukaemia. And even when we were in sick kids, I kept on saying to them, yeah, but it's not 100%. It's not 100% yet. You're, you're just saying to me, it's 95%. We went to the, the old den a few times, and the, the Gonothys pop-up den was more regular. At the start, I we went to that more often. Since this place opened, it's a lot, lot better now. So we tend to come here more often. We think of, of them as family. The boys, before they leave, I'll always give Alison and wh wh whoever them. else is here cuddles before they leave. Um, it's the security that the boys feel that they're in. It seems like a softer side because it doesn't, doesn't focus on research maybe, but what it does offer the, the, the children that are going through the journey and the siblings and the parents, it offers a lot, lot more than what people think you need. A different support system than you get from just your other friends and family who don't 
get the full story. It's great being able to talk to somebody who gets it, that you don't have to start from the beginning again and say, oh yeah, that happened and that happened and that happened. Team Jack's Angel Bag of Worries programme of support is a special part of our service, where we provide sessions for families, siblings, cousins and parents after a much-loved child has passed away. Bag of Worries is a group that we've designed ourselves and it's just kind of a safe space for them to be able to tell us about their worries, anything at all. We have worry monsters. We have the little worry sheets of paper and they can write down their worry and the ideas that then when they put that inside the worry monster then it, it kind of goes away. Um, the same with the bag of worries, the idea is that inside the bag there's lots of pebbles and lots of stones and so when you feel the bag together with all the stones in it it's really heavy but if you share the stones out throughout the group then it's a lighter load. In an ideal world nobody would be affected by cancer but the, it's so good that we're able to provide the support that's, that's missing that's not there. The Murphy family from Dunfermline have been a huge part of Team Jack for a long time. Dad Doogie tells us what Team Jack means to them. This place is just like a home from home for us. Um, like I say, come here for, for counselling and things. Alison and all the girls in there, they're brilliant. I get time to sit with other parents and chat, um, just talk to somebody in there about their holiday to Florida and things, and just that normal stuff is just amazing. And that's what the den bring. The, not only provide a safe place for families to be, they provide counselling, play therapy, music therapy for, for the kids. I get counselling here, and these things aren't cheap, we all know that. Um, but to have that there for the families, for if you ever need it, is just amazing. Aaron was one of our warriors, whose last days were made a little brighter thanks to the rainbow cart service that Team Jack provide. Each cart contains decorations, bedding, snacks and even a coffee machine for children and their families at the Children and Young People's Palliative Care Team at Edinburgh Sick Kids Hospital. It's really just to ease that end of life journey and, and just make it feel more homely for the families. We had one family of ours that unfortunately has had to use it and one of the things that the mum said was to have a coffee machine in the room was just such a godsend because it saved them having to rush out or someone else bring in a coffee for them. They could just help themselves when they wanted. This year, to mark Jack's 21st birthday, Team Jack are running a special campaign called 21 Wishes for Jack. We've got 21 different events happening throughout Scotland. The kilt walk, we've gone from having, I think, maybe six walkers in year one. Alison, who always likes to give me a challenge, has decided that 210 walkers for Edinburgh might be a good number. Um, I reckon 21 would have done it, but she was not for having that. It is a big challenge, but you know, it's one that I didn't think I would reach last year, and we did. And with the help of all our walkers and the people who supported them, we raised just under £50,000. And the difference that can make to the families we support is massive. We've got three balls this year to celebrate his life, but also to celebrate the lives of all these amazing children who didn't ask to be put in the cancer journey, but are thrown into that, and to give them some hope, create smiles for them. We don't get any government funding, so we rely on our volunteers, we rely on companies out there. At the end of the day, if, if we had no money, we couldn't offer the services, and there would be no uh, support to families. Today, Team Jack continues to help families during very difficult times, but they can't do it without your support. We are always keen to speak to potential sponsors to help keep Jack's dream alive. To create smiles and ease the journey, just as Jack would have wanted. I know what it's like to not be able to do things that people who are well enough to do can do. And um, I just, I've always liked to help out other people.